So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need to enable the support for Windows subsystem for Linux on your Windows 11 operating system. So let me show you how you can enable that. So for that, just click on this search icon and then search for control panel and then click on control panel here and then view by category here and then click on programs. Then click on programs and features. And once this programs and feature uh, window opens on the left hand side, you will be able to see uh, this option which says turn windows feature on or off. So just click on this option which is going to open this kind of window which says turn window features on and off. This you can open by just searching for uh, this option. So just write uh, turn windows features on and off in the search bar and then click on this option which is also going to open the same window. So once this window is open let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger. So once this window opens, you just need to scroll down at the very bottom and you need to select this option which says Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'm going to check this checkbox in front of this option and then click on OK. So once you click on OK, it's going to search for essential tools and files. So once you click on OK, it's going to search for uh, the required tools for Windows subsystem for Linux on your Windows 11 operating system and it's going to apply all the changes. And then at last you will see this message which says Windows needs to reboot your PC to finish installing the required changes. So I'm going to just click on the restart now button which is going to restart my Windows operating system. So once your Windows operating system restarts what you can do you can open the command prompt. So I'm going to just click on this search bar and then type CMD or command prompt and then open the command prompt from here. And then I can uh, type bash here. So just give the command bash and then press enter. And once you uh, give this command, it's going to uh, show you this kind of message which says Windows subsystem for Linux has no installed distribution. So right now we don't have any installed distribution. So we can install uh, this distribution by just following this link, which is essentially the link for the Microsoft Store. So when you uh, just copy and paste this link in the browser, it's going to open the Microsoft Store on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's uh, open Microsoft Store in our Windows 11 operating system directly. So I'm going to click on this search bar once again and then I'm going to just search for Microsoft Store here and then open this app which says Microsoft Store which is going to open Microsoft Store. So once this Microsoft Store opens you can search for your favorite Linux uh, distribution or you can just type Linux here and then press enter and it's going to show you the most popular Linux distribution available for your Windows 11 operating system. So here you can see uh, different distributions like Kali, SUSE. Um, we have uh, the Ubuntu also here. So you can see Ubuntu 18.04. So I want to install the latest version of Ubuntu. So I'm going to just search for uh, Ubuntu here and then uh, press enter. So once you search for Ubuntu, you will be able to see this uh, Ubuntu version and then you will see when you scroll down different version of Ubuntu here. So Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu 2022.04. But I generally go with this Ubuntu which will install the latest stable LTS version on your Windows 11 operating system. So to install this, you can uh, just click on uh, this button. Right now, this app is already installed on uh, my Windows 11 operating system. So I can see the open button. But in your case, you will see the get button in front of it. So just click on the get button, which is going to install this app. And if you want to get more information about this, just click on this app. And then you will be able to see more information about Ubuntu app. And you can see it says Ubuntu is always the latest LTS version of Ubuntu. When 
new LTS version are released, then you can uh, upgrade your Ubuntu operating system with this command, right? So once it's installed, you need to click on this button, which says open. Or by chance, if it's closed, you can also open this by just clicking on the search options and then search for Ubuntu here. And you will be able to see this Ubuntu app here, right? So I'm going to click on Ubuntu here. The error uh, says WSL register distribution failed with this error. And then you will see this message also that WSL2 requires an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit this website. So this is what exactly we are going to do. I'm going to just copy this uh, URL and then I'm going to press any key here, which is going to just close this window. And then I'm going to go to my browser and then I'm going to just paste this link, which I have copied. And here you will see in the fourth step, download the Linux kernel update package, right? So we are going to download this uh, package. So here you just need to click on this link, which is WSL2 Linux kernel update package, which is going to start the download of this package. You can see on my Edge browser, this download has been started. And once this uh, download is finished, you can go to your downloads uh, folder and then click on this option, which says WSL update x64. Let me minimize this. And then here you just need to click on next and then click on yes, which is going to update everything. And then at last you will see this message completed the Windows subsystem for Linux update setup wizard. And now I'm going to click on finish here. And now I'm going to uh, try to restart my Ubuntu app. So let me just click on this Ubuntu app. And this time, hopefully, you will not see this error. So you can see here, the installation of Ubuntu has been successfully started. And it says, please create a default Unix user account. The username does not need to match your Windows username. So now I'm going to give uh, the Unix username. And as you can see here, this username does not need to match your Windows user. So I'm going to just uh, uh, give uh, for example code bind here as the username and then press enter and then i'm going to give the new password so this password also does not need to be the your windows password so let me give the new password here and then press enter and then retype that password and then press enter and you can see the password is updated successfully and now i am logged in to my uh, Ubuntu operating system. And now I can start using uh, this Ubuntu bash on my Windows 11 operating systems. So let's try to check this by giving some commands. So let me just start from the uh, clear terminal. And here, first of all, I'm going to just uh, give this command ls minus al, which is going to list all the files and folders in the current directory. We can also give pwt command, which is going to show you the current working directory. So now you might be wondering how you can navigate your C drive or D drive on your Windows operating system using this bash uh, shell, right? So the C or D drive or any other drive uh, from your uh, Windows operating system is mounted on this uh, Linux bash shell. Uh, and we can verify this by uh, just typing this command. So just type ls forward slash mnt forward slash and then press enter. And you will be able to see the drive which are mounted to your uh, uh, Linux operating system. So you can see the C drive and I can see the WSL. So let's go to uh, our Windows operating system folder uh, explorer and you can see I have the C drive here, right? So to go inside the C drive, let me also show you the content of my C drive here. So to go inside the C drive, you just need to write CD and then forward slash MNT and then C, right? And then uh, I'm going to press enter here. 
and let's uh, list out all the files and folders so ls hyphen al and then press enter and you will be able to see all these files which will match the files and folders which are present in my uh, windows operating system so i can uh, already see the ffmpeg kotlin c for example and then program files and program files x86 uh, will be there you can see these folders are there and all the other folders will be present for example this zamp folder i will be able to find here then uh, vamp 64 and then sqlite so all these folders i can see so this is how you can navigate to your c or d directory uh, of your windows 11 operating system using this uh, linux or ubuntu terminal right now let's uh, try to create let's say some file in the desktop folder okay so i have this desktop folder and i want to navigate to the desktop folder and uh, i want to create some file here let's say so in my c drive where can i find the desktop i will be able to find the desktop in uh, the users and then the username and then there will be this desktop here right so same i have to do here so inside my c drive i will just cd to uh, the users folder and then the name which is the username and then desktop right and then press enter now i am in my desktop folder and let me create a simple file here i can do this using the touch command and then let's say i want to create this test.txt file i'm going to press enter and once i press enter you can see this test uh, dot txt file is created on my desktop so once you have installed this ubuntu app using wsl uh, you can also use bash from your command line so when you search for cmd this is the windows 11 command prompt so i'm going to just open this and here when you type bash and then press enter it's going to open the ubuntu's uh, bash terminal so from here also you can use the ubuntu's uh, terminal on your windows command prompt so this is how you can install the support for windows subsystem for linux on your windows 11 operating system and install various linux operating system on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video